Hello, this is Franklin McMahon from Franklin McMahon Studio. We do video production, photography, web development, design, lots of cool creative stuff. Our website is right there if you want to check out our stuff. And uh, this is the show where we answer your questions. You can actually email in your questions and I will do my best to answer them. So actually, Patrick has a very good question. Do you know any good books on networking? Uh, Good question. Networking is very crucial if you're running a business, starting a business, have your own empire, you want to make connections. A lot of it happens online now these days, but there's nothing like being there in person. And I have to say the answer to this is I haven't really found a really good definitive book on networking, but I would say that just showing up is probably the key. You know, bypass the book. I'll save you a little bit of time. Bypass the networking book and just start showing up to events. I know it's a little tricky. It's tough. You don't know people. Um, but if you, if you do it more and more, you get used to it. And that's, uh, that's half the battle right there. In fact, if you do it more, you'll start to see some of the same people and you can, you know, make some connections and meet other people. Um, you can contact your local chamber of commerce. There's all kinds of events. If you just look on Facebook, there's events practically every night in most areas, most cities and towns, and just pop into some of them. Now, also, don't go to just places and events where you're going to know people and you know kind of the genre. You know, go off the beaten path a little. Go to something you would not normally go to because you'll meet a whole new group of people and make some connections. Now, pack some business cards. I mean, come prepared. And I always say to dress up, you always want to look presentable. Uh, Sometimes it's uh, a lot of people look cool or hip and trendy. I mean, you can... You can do that as well, but uh, if you, not saying you have to wear a suit and tie, but you could wear a suit and tie because people are going to judge you when they first meet you a lot of times by your appearance. It's unfortunate, but very true. So you want to look very presentable. However, that uh, is defined by you. You can kind of go from there, but make sure you look good. You have your business cards, you're social, you make some connections, you don't kind of hide in the corner, and you really work it a little bit. And the more you do it, the more you'll get momentum. Now, as far as books, I see a lot of people who buy books on everything. If they're interested in a topic, they go buy a book. Now, if your shelf has, um, you know, a lot of books on guide to Bible of, you know, a lot of these technical books, you're not getting a lot of life experiences. And I think also learning about networking and learning how to progress your career, you really learn a lot from biographies. I mean, business books are very good, um, but I would steer toward if you want to get a book, get a good book. Get a good biography because you're going to learn from the best. You're going to find out other people who have succeeded and learn from them. So here's a couple that I recommend. Um, Ted Turner, Call Me Ted. I like the audiobook of this. The abridged version is very good. He's a very dynamic uh, narrator, and you can really get a good sense of what he's done. And also uh, Neil Gabler's book, Walt Disney, which I think is excellent and really goes through his life story and the accomplishments that he's done. So that's my suggestion. Rather than get a book on, you know, networking or a technical or business book, switch over to biographies. I think you'll get really inspired with some of these people's stories. And there's tons of biography. Trust me, there's thousands of them out there. You know, look at the reviews, see some people you're interested in, see people you look up to, and see how they did it. And start to take notes, start to learn from their life experiences and kind of apply that to some of your own. Uh, it can get uh, very fun. And again, nothing against business books and books on you know social media and, and things like that. But for me, I love biographies. That's where I get the most stuff out of. So anyway, going back to networking, skip the networking book, just show up, pack some cards, look presentable, start to do it more and more, and you'll get into the mix. You'll start to, you can even have a a wing person, a wingman to go with you to some of these events. It's actually kind of fun. And you'll find that you can expand your business, make connections, and uh, have fun doing it. And check out those books. And also go to amazon.com or go to your local bookstore. There are tons of biographies in the biography section, and a lot of them are very inspiring, so check that out. So thanks for the question, Patrick. And if you have a question yourself, the email is right on the screen there. You can ask me anything, well, almost anything. And I've I've got a lot of great questions I I need to get to, but keep them rolling in. And if you want to check out our website, it's franklinmcmahon.com. I am franklinmcmahon.com. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We have more great questions coming up. We'll talk to you soon. Mm